In this video, you'll learn how to code the right triangle check. This program utilizes the Pythagorean theorem. My name is Ashley, and I'm one of the co-founders of CS and Math. At CS and Math, we are not looking to, to replace traditional math. Rather, we're looking to infuse career-ready applications of math and exposure to the principles of computer science into all of our lessons. Let's get started. The very first thing we want to do here today is we want to um, create a right triangle on our screen. So a couple ways we can do this. We can come down to choose a sprite and we could upload one from online if we liked it. I'm going to choose to paint mine today. So I'm going to select my line here and we'll make it, we'll say size 10. I'm going to draw my right triangle. Notice the corners will attach here. And then I'm going to fill mine in and I'm going to make sure that we know this is a right triangle by indicating here. So now I've got my main screen, or my main sprite on the screen. Next what I'm going to do is delete my cat. Because I don't need this cat for this program. Uh, I'm going to come back to the code block up top here. And we're going to need three variables for this program. So if I come down to variables and hit make a variable, I'm going to need side A, side B, and side C. And notice how these are showing up here on the screen. So I'm going to move these to the side indicated. And A and B don't matter, but letter C does need to be on the hypotenuse here. Super. So the very first thing, typically when we start a program, we come here to events, and I'm going to drag a green flag out here onto the main screen. And once the screen flag is out here, this just means as I hit this green flag, my program is going to start. So the next thing we want to do is we want to ask our user what these side lengths are so then our program can determine is this a right triangle or not. So the first question we should ask is what is the side length of side A? Now notice if I ran this, it's asking me the question and I could type this number in. And where is this? where does this number go? It goes here into this answer block. Notice if I click answer, 3 is stored inside of here. So what I want to do is I want to set my side length A to the answer that was typed in. Now notice the difference here. Uh, I'm going to type in 3 for letter A, and notice it is stored here as A. Wonderful. Now we need to do this for each of my other two sides. So now we want to know what is the side length of side B. And whatever they type in, now I want to set B, side B, to that answer. And finally, what is the side length of side C? And we will set C to that answer. Now, one thing we'll know if we were to run this, and we were to type in side A is 3, side B is 4, side C is 5. If I wanted to run this again, notice they're staying at 3, 4, and 5. So what we could add to the start of our program is we could add some blocks here that reset our variables. So I could set A to 0 and B to 0 and C to 0. And now notice the difference when I start my program. Everything reset. And now I can type in my variables. So that's just a preference. Um, the next piece we need here is an if-then-else block. So I'm going to come in here to control, and we'll see this here. So basically, when we were to run a, a problem like this, we would take a squared plus b squared, and if it equaled c squared, we would say, yes, this is a right triangle. If it did not equal c squared, then we would say, no, this is not. So that's exactly what we need to do here. If we have an operator, as most of our mathy blocks here, so we've got an equals, so um, we're going to do a squared, and there's no squared block in Scratch. So we can do a times a will suffice as a squared. So a squared, and careful with order of operations here, plus, now we need b squared, so b times b. So if this equals, not 50, If this equals now our c squared, 
to decompose here. Now we need C times C. So if this is equal, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, we can simply say in here, you have a right triangle. Now this else block basically says, if this isn't true, here's where we go instead. So if a squared plus b squared is not equal to c squared, then we say this is not a right triangle. Let's test this program out. So 3, 4, 5 we know is a good check for a right triangle. And we'll see, you have a right triangle. Now let's try 7, 8, and 9. This is not a right triangle. So you'll notice this program is up and running. Best of luck as you create your own.